Now we learned actually in the previous lecture that how to run Nginx container with and without putting it in the background or without that. Okay, so we, we run the container in the background and we publish the port we want and we exposed it using the dash P option and the dash D option as well. Okay, now in this lecture, we will learn what is the dash V option. So if I type here dash run dash dash help, you can see that for the dash V, you can see that this dash V or volume list bind mount a volume. Okay, so actually this is something we already saw we already talked about which is the volumes or the storage in docker generally but this time we will do that into action and with practice okay now the first thing we will run the nginx in the background like this we already did that sorry i always forget that so and dash p and 8080 and on board 80 externally 8080 to internally 80 like this and it will be run in the background like this so if i open the browser on the board 8080 it will be something like this okay which is the default page now we don't need this default page we will we want another page anything uh, it's okay let's put a simple page using um hello world it's okay anything all right but we we need that in a practical way okay so we will not go into the container and change that and then do whatever we want. No, this is not practical. So how to do that? The first thing, this container must be killed actually because we need to put a volume or mapping the volume from outside here into the inside. Okay, I have two files here. I want to remove them. Let's remove them actually like this. I don't need them. Now I will create this file which is index dot html okay now i will edit this file and will put hello world and i will put it as h1 actually h1 tag like this and then i will save it then after i save it i need to copy it inside the container but you know that the contain the container is already running so i don't need just to copy it i need to make a volume or mapping between this directory which is this place well actually let's create a directory called it nginx okay and let's move this in the index to to the nginx all right so as you can see we have the nginx directory and inside it we have the index.html and we want this nginx directory to be inside or to be mapped inside the directory on the nginx container okay on the user share lib whatever okay which is the default path for the nginx as you can see by default nginx web server default location is the user share nginx html so inside this location is the index.html located okay so the first thing i need to kill the container let's kill it we don't need it yeah this one kill this one it's okay now we want to run it and in the background and with the board 80 80 with the board 80 now until now this is there is not nothing new right now we will type the dash v option and as you can see small v which means volume to bind the volume and here again the same format the external colon the internal so the external will be my location which is a which is what which is the nginx here but but again you need to provide the absolute path so you have two ways actually you can put it hard coded or you can use the command which is this command about but using the sorry about this yeah so the, using this command as, as you can see so this means that we will run the about and the current directory the current working directory and yeah don't forget to put the nginx here actually and then we will map it to the user share sorry about this user share lib i will get it from here copy and paste you can see that user share nginx html because inside this directory the html directory is the index.html that have the default page which is welcome to nginx okay we need to change it okay but for now let's put the 
path hard coded. So if I type the bout, you can see that this is the directory I have, which is users, my my user desktop containers. So Docker run dash d dash p eighty eighty to the port eighty dash v. I will put the user musab desktop containers slash engine x without slash at the end and put the colon and then you need to copy the default path which is user share nginx html without slash again then finally we want to the to run the nginx container so this will make a mapping between this location and this location inside the container from externally to internally like this so if i type docker ps yeah it is up and running now let's check out actually on the browser so here if I refresh this page which is the local host and port 8080 you can see that now we have hello world okay so actually if I open this and I go inside the nginx like this you can see that we have the index here so if I type the index if I edit the index actually if I type anything as you can see like this and then I, if I refresh it you can see that anything is here any modification that happen on the index.html on my computer will be happen inside the container because we have a volume or have we will have a mapping between that now you may ask me but how should i use that actually into production this is not something practical practical no actually it is practical well it has its own use cases this is not the only way there are a lot of other ways actually but this is one of the ways by mapping between your server that have the docker and the containers inside it so you have multiple containers for example all the containers share the same resources and they take from that okay so this is one of the use cases actually there are a lot of methods there are a lot of other ways there are other ways actually to do that but this is one of the ways okay so by doing a volume between the external docker host to the internal container now in my case the mac system i'm using is my docker host okay but if you have a docker host on your server this is the same actually okay okay so actually by learning that we know that this nginx directory as you can see all your code will be here all right all of your code will be here and you will serve your content your static content dynamic content inside this directory any change that have made here on this nginx will be appeared on the nginx container because nginx container will take its content from this place well actually again this is one of the ways this is not the only way or the best way but is this is one of the ways but you again you can run ubuntu container and customize that you don't need to run nginx container and just use it as is you can just run uh, ubuntu or uh, any other distribution like fedora CentOS, or whatever and from there you can customize whatever you want django you are using node.js you are using php cgi micro usg gonicon whatever all of that will be customized no no worries and don't worry actually we will handle that in in practical way again when time comes but for now keep in your mind that we can serve content actually we can put a dynamic content but for now we saw that it is a static content by using the volume between the external docker host and the internal container all right thanks for watching i will see you in the next lecture